Hello, this is Mr. Griffin, and by the title and this pic that you see, you can probably figure out what I'm going to be speaking on today. It's a reaction to another video that I just watched from The Black Authority. This time he was speaking on men who beg for sex from women, specifically black men who beg black women for sex. Now, much like the Thugs vs. Nerds video, this one spoke to me as well because it gave me flashbacks to my own past as many of the things he was talking about I have done or witnessed at one point or another. It also makes me look back and say, damn, I was dumb. <laughs> I mean, sorry to say, but it's true. Now, I was raised by a single parent, which was my mother, but my situation was unique as my mother was hardly, was hardly, and is hardly the ratchet female that seems to rule the world these days. In fact, my both my mom and dad were married when they had me in 1974, and they both were, were and, and have worked in successful careers. They're both very educated people. So... This is hardly, I hardly come from, let's say, the hood or the projects. Um, they divorced in the early 1980s. Now, as I've mentioned in the previous video, my father is a very successful man in business, but not so much, and even he'll admit this sometimes, not so much was great as a father. In fact, he was pretty much absent for much of my childhood. So this pretty much left my mother to be school the school me on things. Now, while she couldn't teach me to be a man, she did, at least not fully. She couldn't teach me to be a man, not fully, because really, that's not really a woman's job. I mean, I hate to sound like a like some um oh chauvinist or something but really that's not really a woman's job job the woman should be the nurturer or if anything she should be teaching her daughter how to be a woman she should not be trying to raise a boy to be a man that should be the man's job but that's another video for another day but while she couldn't teach me on how to be a man she did try to warn me on how females are of course, being young and dumb, I didn't really listen and had to learn the hard way. The only blessing is that in those days, I wasn't getting any pussy. <laughs> and thank God I didn't, because if I would have with these females, I would be another statistic, either of another black male who isn't married to the mother of the child or children, or I would be in the divorce category by now because looking back, I let these ladies have too much power instead of being a man. Of course, there wasn't anyone there to really show me how to be a man, so I didn't know any better at the time. Over time, even as an adult, I kept repeating the same mistakes. A few years ago, I finally just said, wait a minute. I'm relatively good looking. I have a decent body. I do work. I mean, I may not be making top dollar, but I am a black man that's actually gainfully employed. So why do women, especially black women, go after the lowest common denominator? The answer has actually been in front of my face all along, but it took black authority um, and I do thank the gentleman for his videos, even on parts that I don't agree with, I still ponder what he says. But it took this it took this man in his videos to actually verbalize for me to wake up and see what has been in front of my face for years. And that is this. Women do not like nice guys. Let me repeat that. Women do not like nice guys. Nice guys are the ones they talk to, they'll be friends with, or 
if they find them mildly attractive, they might give some ass to once or twice, especially if they're really good good in the sack. But in the end, they're not usually the ones they want because, you guessed it, they are nice guys. I mean, one time I was looking at a documentary around the time that um, Superman Returns came out uh, called Look Up in the Sky, It's a Bird, the Plane, The Story of Superman. And at the end of it, they said, Batman would be the one you would hang out with and have a good time with, but Superman would be the one you would ultimately marry. I personally don't think that's true. I think most women would prefer a Batman over a Superman because Superman, for all his strength and power and morals, is the nice guy, the good guy. Batman is that deep down good man, but he has that edge and he has that more aggressive manliness that women actually prefer. So I don't know if that statement's true. I think most women would actually prefer a Batman over a Superman. But like I said, that's another video. But it kind of relates to the one I'm making right now and talking about. Now, getting back to this on subject. A woman, despite popular belief, likes to be told no by a man here and there. Now, I'm not saying it's cool to hit a woman or belittle a female. I'm not talking about that. I'm, talking, I'm not talking about the type of situation like an Ike Turner or the late James Brown or even a Chris Brown type of situation, like the situation with Rihanna. I'm not talking about that. I'm talking about they like a man who is a strong personality and has strong character that will tell them no once in a while, that will actually stand up to them and won't give them everything, that, give them everything every time, all the time. I know that sounds crazy because it's contradictory to what we've been taught growing up, but it's true. I've had to learn, you know, condition myself to say no to people, especially females. Now, granted, some have given me attitude. Some few have even cussed me out and such. Others, though, have actually gained more respect for me because I did that. It's strange because it's contradictory to everything I've been taught growing up. But it's true. Another point that Black Authority discussed was how thirsty men are for any woman, especially black men. No matter how fat, no matter how busted, or no matter how used up they are. I admit guilt to this because I have been with women that I look back on now and I'm like, Ew! What the hell was I thinking? I mean, I even have a spoken word poem video, and I'm going to put the link to that in the description box as well as the link to Black Authority's video called Be Careful What You Drink that addresses this very subject. And don't think women don't know this, guys. They know they can get a man no matter how they look or what their situation is. Here's a story that didn't involve me, but I heard heard of it, and this actually did happen in Bluefield. There was this fat black girl that lives, I think, over either in the middle of town or over on the south side. I'm not for sure. Sure. that. But from what I heard, she would take any attention from a guy, even if it's the wrong attention. I mean, in fact, one one story I've heard in Legend with this girl girl was dude took her to freaking mcdonald's to get some pussy took her to freaking mcdonald's he bought like you know one of them big extra value meals and shit all he bought her was a box of chicken nuggets and not even the big big box either i'm talking about the little little uh eight ten piece box and i'm like what the fuck but anyway one day, 
in a parking lot across from an apartment complex over on that side of town. She let her man, her supposed man, and four of his boys run a train on her. Now, for those of you that don't know, run a train on her, that's old school for gangbang. They used no protection whatsoever. And if that wasn't bad enough, it was outside in the damn cold, maybe 30 degrees or a little bit colder. And that's not even the worst part. The worst part was not only did she let them do her both vaginally and anally. That's right. He basically, to put it in gross translation, she allowed each one of these guys to fuck her in the pussy and in the ass with no condom. And the worst part was after, after they've been up in her ass with no rubber, no protection whatsoever, she sucked them off after their dicks had basically been in her behind. Now, I like sex, but even during my wilder, freakier days, that would have been too gross even for me. Also, I heard that these guys, these so including her so-called man, was calling her bitch, hoe, slut, and everything else. Now, this is a message on this female, but you know what? I'm not really focusing on her. It's these dudes who are so res reckless and so desperate to get a nut that they will take this obviously ratchet female who will let them do whatever because her man asked her to with, with your friends and God knows who else they've been with and basically share a piece of pussy and in this case, the girl's butthole. As I said, I like sex, but I've always known when a situation wasn't right and no way, even in my crazier days, would I have participated in this with a bunch of guys who didn't even have enough respect for themselves to use protection. Now, I prefer my sex natural and straight up like most guys, but I ain't gonna die over it either. And what's sad, and Black Authority point this out, is that it doesn't take much to get a female. Females actually outnumber males, and I'm counting all females, whether you're black, white, Asian, whatever. And I'm talking just strictly the United States. Females actually outnumber males two to one, if not war. So there's actually too many females around for every male. So would you so with this much, why do you have to beg for the lowest common denominator? I really wish men, especially black men, would quit being so thirsty. And even I'm trying to work on this. Now I'm going to use two females examples from the celebrity world. Like take Holly Berry or even take Rihanna for instance. If you have something they want and have a strong personality to go with it, I'm going to come out and be bold and say this. You can fuck a Holly Berry or you can fuck a Rihanna. You don't even necessarily have to have money. That's right. I'm saying it. I'm sorry. I'm saying it. Especially in the case of Rihanna. I mean, let's be honest. Chris Brown is not the most handsome dude, especially these days. With that uh, ghetto-looking demolition man, um, ne um, almost called all Wesley Snipes' character, Nino Brown, uh, Simon Phoenix look that he's got going. But two things he does have going for him. He does have money, and he's obviously got a strong personality. Note that I did say he had a good personality. But he puts out there that he's strong, that he's a strong, confident personality, and that's what women who aren't using logic, but feelings like. I mean, you wouldn't believe, and many of my listeners have probably read this too, how many women that I have read that have said on these YouTube videos and chat sites and stuff that they would actually let Chris Brown whoop their ass because he was fine. That makes no damn sense, but that's what these females are saying. Like, let ordinary... Irvin Griffin tried to do that shit. No. I'd, I'd be in the southern regional jail so quick. 
fact. <laughs> and if you look at evidence in front of your eyes, it's true. Rihanna got beat up by this man, and now they're back together. It just shows as long as a man has what a woman wants, she will put up with any damn thing, no matter how bad or potential the situation is. You want further proof? Look at this man, Little Wayne. This dude looks like he's the love child of Bob Marley and Flavor Flav and was birthed in the fourth dimension of hell. Yet, this man, and I use that kind of sarcastically, has been able to fuck some of the finest women out there, including this one, Lauren London. Obviously, she's fine as hell and could have any man she wanted, but she chose to get pregnant by this baby-making son of a bitch. And this isn't hating on Lil Wayne. I'm just showing examples about how you don't need to beg women to get some. If you have something they want and you could talk to them and figure it out, then you can have them. As I said earlier, if you have money, a strong personality and good looks, or more importantly, a strong personality and one of the other two, you could get the draws from nearly any woman. No matter how good looking she is or famous she is, Hell, a freaking bodyguard is now banging the ex-wife of Seal, Heidi Klum. So don't tell me it can't be done. I've known guys in my personal life, guys that I'm even friends with, who are not that good looking of guys, but was able to get ass with the snap of a finger. So don't tell me that it can't be done. Now, I know I'm repeating a lot of things that Black Authority has already said, but I'm using examples both from real life and from out there in the celebrity world to show you that you don't have to accept or be thirsty for any female that comes along. We have the power, guys. I'm speaking specifically to black men, but hey, even my white or non-black listeners can take heed of this because I've seen it with your women as well. I mean, it ain't just black women. Women, I've seen a lot of the same things with white women and all other types of women. Anyway, we have the power, guys. So why are we giving it away, especially to women who aren't nearly deserving of it? I've had to learn to be, to speaking for myself, be more self-confident and learn to speak my mind when appropriate. That isn't saying be a roughneck, thug, or anything like that. You can still be a gentleman, but a gentleman doesn't mean being soft. And a woman does not like a soft man. No matter, no matter what they tell you, they like a man that will stand up to them. They don't like someone they can walk over. When a, like, don't believe me? Like when a woman says, why you let's say you stand up to them and they say, Why are you being so mean? Tell them because you like it and see how they act. Oh, they may act mad, but most of them are not mad at all. In fact, they like it. I think back to all the women I tried to get with and failed in college and even in high school, and I think about the dudes that did get with them. Was it because they were better looking than me? Hell no! In fact, most, a lot of them were busted as hell themselves. And yes, I'm confident to say that now because looking back, they were no better looking. Was it because they had money? Again, I say no because we were on equal ground as far as money because all of us was broke. It was because they socialized and had the personality and will to go after these women, whereas I didn't at the time. And let me use a recent example that uh, from my own um, personal life. Um, basically, it was a conversation I'm having. I had with a woman that she's not really my girlfriend. I guess you could say we're friends with benefits. But recently, you know, we had a little little spat, and then you know we've been slowly making up at things. And, you know, I've been just trying to, you know, be just more than a sex partner. I'm trying to be 
her friend, and you know, maybe even more, who knows? But, but I finally just said to her, you know what? I am still your friend, but, but you know what? You know you want me. She didn't text back and said, glad you think so. And then she said, then I said back to her, yeah, I, I am being arrogant, but I do think so. Because I touch nerves both physically and mentally that I think you haven't had touched in a long time. And I wasn't speaking just sexually. I'm talking about being being a nice being a nice being a good guy being being dependable being straight up about who I am and everything thing yeah she may act like it doesn't mean anything to her but if it didn't she wouldn't have got mad that night when I accidentally overslept <laughs> and, and missed her text <laughs> So obviously it did mean something to her. That's what I'm talking about. And tell you what, even a year ago, I would not have been bold enough to make that little statement that I did. But now I am. And I'm finding out that I'm not saying, you know, be mean or try to act like you're a tough guy or be a thug and all that stuff. But all I'm saying to the men, I guess, in the end is be strong, be you, but be a stronger you, be a more firm you. And believe me, these women will pay attention. Then you put the power back in your favor instead of letting them have the power. When, quite frankly, there's too many women out there. There's more women out there than men. There's too many women out there. For you to just settle for somebody that's on the ratchet level when you are on a higher level. Well, that's all I got, got to say. This is Mr. Griffin signing off. Have a nice, have a nice day, folks.